The key to any house that you want to last a few hundred years and be comfortable um, and not have to put new siding on every 10 or 20 years is to um, keep it dry. So we're in an area that it only rains about four months a year, but when it rains, it can really rain. Uh, we can get a four days of nonstop rain and actually get sheeting of water. So um, we're, we're down slope about 20 feet from the high point. And what we did was we did a, tubble, a double terrace and in front of, at the base of this terrace is a French drain. That's a drain that catches the water, leads it around the side of the house, and then redistributes it to the lower yard. And we did a French drain right along the perimeter of the house, a second one, kind of overkill, but I wanted to keep the house dry. And that does the same thing. We have a dry creek, which is the first, uh, first gathering area for any moisture heading toward the house. Uh -huh. uh, uh, another thing we did was, um, uh, in California, a lot of houses have ventilated crawl spaces with a dirt floor. Well, most of the moisture in your house comes through that dirt floor. Even though you may think it's dry, put a piece of visqueen or a piece of saran wrap down for a day and then lift it up and look at all the moisture, even in the dry summer. So the whole, what we did was we sealed the crawl space and we put down uh, visqueen to stop the moisture coming through as the final defense to keep moisture out of the house. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I almost overkilled in that we brought in some old oak that was salvaged from a, a, a subdivision and the floors are, it's so dry that sometimes in the winter the floors actually open up a little crack in between the tongue and groove. Uh, you can see a crack which tells me we've accomplished our task.